which is the first expressway in India. Some particular mid-right buildings all collapsed, but high-right building and low-right building were not collapsed in the same city due to earthquake. What may be the reason? Generally, there are four types of sections in steel structures, plastic, compact, semi-compact, slender. How can I classify which section belongs to which category? What is the impact of over consolidation ratio on the shear strength of clay soil? Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Please come and sit down. Thank you, sir. Mr. Jain, you are in Engineers India Limited. Yes, it, sir. It's a very amazing PSU. What, yes. it, what do you do there? Uh, sir, I have just joined uh, one and a half month back, so I am under training as of now. Hmm. Uh, I will go for a three month training in Gurugram campus, uh, then I will go for a nine month training on site. Uh, so currently I am uh, learning about different departments of the company uh, under senior executives. They are giving us classes and presentation as of now. Uh, so I am under training. Why do you want to change over to engineering service? Sir, Sir, when I started my preparation, my primary career aim was engineering services mm -hmm. and my backup aim was public sector. Uh, as I have uh, got good rank, uh, so I joined as a backup plan for public sector. NHAI have, NHAI has so many projects. Out of so many projects, which project most impressive for you? Most impressive. Many PPP projects NHAI has been doing. Yes, sir. Which project do you like? So many projects, road yes. construction. Yes, sir. NHAI, you know? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, currently uh, the Dwarka Expressway uh, they are building. Mm -hmm. uh, also, sir, the Bharat Mala project is uh, also taken up by the NHAI. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, Expressway, what is the total kilometers in India? Expressway. Sorry, I am not. Uh, Which is the first expressway in India? What is the difference of expressway and national highway? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, expressway uh, differs from national highway because of the controlled uh, section. Uh, like uh, the control on the uh, expressway is very high as compared to the national highway. Uh, on national highway, we can see uh, after few few uh, hundred meters, there are turns. But on uh, expressway, there uh, are turns uh, after a particular uh, distance. Moreover, sir, expressway are mostly grade separated, uh, like they are uh, on the above the ground uh, level. Uh, yes. Sir. In construction of expressway versus national highway, how do you uh, how do how do how do you change the material into construction process? Sir, in specification. I am talking about specification of material used in construction. Sir, firstly, uh, the thickness of the material for uh, national highways, uh, sorry, expressway is more as compared to the national highway because the uh, speed of the uh, design speed of the vehicles are more. So, uh, the material that is used is of good quality as compared to the uh, national highway. Moreover, sir, the uh, uh, like the control uh, and the traffic uh, control over the expressway is far better than the uh, national highway. Uh, and the uh, other facilities around the uh, expressway is also good as compared to the national highway. In the gym, you are doing strength training. Yes, sir. For uh, Thai muscles, what strength training, what kind of uh, gym exercises you do for strengthening yes. your Yes, sir. sir. There is uh, many exercise. Uh, there are many exercise like uh, squats is there. There is a leg press and uh, deadlift uh, is also doing. Uh, it it can uh, affect, uh, like uh, give strength to our thighs. Moreover, our lower back also okay. deadlift. Okay, sir. Okay, can you tell me why we need to design a building from earthquake point of view? Sir, uh, according to me, uh, because if we don't design the building uh, according to the earthquake point of view and uh, it fails uh, in the earthquake, then the losses uh, that we have to incur uh, are more as compared to if we design priorly and uh, have some cost to incur uh, while we are designing. So, okay, fine. So, how we design for earthquake? Yes, sir. 
सर बेसिकली अर्थक्वेक प्रोवाइड्स लेटरल फोर्स ऑन द बिल्डिंग सो वी कैन डू मैनी थिंग्स लाइक इफ यू आर कंस्ट्रक्टिंग द बिल्डिंग फ्रॉम द स्क्रैच देन वी कैन स्ट्रेंथ इन द फाउंडेशन वी कैन यूज पाइल फाउंडेशन इन दैट केस मोर ओवर वी कैन ऑल्सो डिजाइन अकॉर्डिंग टू द आई एस वन थ्री नाइन टू जीरो दैट इज डक्टाइल डिटेलिंग कोड बट इफ इफ द बिल्डिंग इज ऑलरेडी कंस्ट्रक्टेड then we can do the retrofitting of the building according to the earthquake design like we can install a shear wall or so uh, like we can increase the foundation strength of the uh, um, building if we are uh, doing that okay fine so b calculate a value of uh, design base shear how it is calculated yes sir yes. sir suppose we have five story building uh, then we calculate uh, the uh, weight of each floor and also the terrace uh then we calculate sir uh, the height and uh, of each floor from the base it is the cumulative height of each floor uh, for example first floor is 3 meter second floor is 3 meter so th- second floor will be 6 meter and so on and then there is a formula uh, that is uh, wi hi square upon summation wi hi square into v that v is the uh, uh, seismic force seismic force is uh, weight of mass of the building into Uh, acceleration coefficient so we calculate okay this. there is a term in this s a y g what is this term sir it stands for spectral acceleration coefficient okay it depend on what uh, sir it depends upon the time period uh, of why the why time period is important in this case what do you mean by time period and why this is important yes sir sir time period is uh, basically related to the frequency also uh, like because uh, if the sudden shaking of the earthquake occur like if the uh, earthquake occur in a slow slow frequency then uh, i think it will not cause much damage but it if if it occurs suddenly then the damage will be very high so uh, i think that is uh, important uh, to consider during the earthquake because uh, it is a dynamic force so frequency is more major factor in that and that frequency okay, is related so, to time period also so frequency you are saying uh, sudden uh, sudden means what what do you mean by sudden frequency is high sir frequency is high so a structure will fail always in case of high frequency earthquake no sir or in low frequency earthquake also so it can fail uh, so which type of structure can fail in low frequency earthquake sir i am unable to understand the question uh, that so you are telling na ki some type of a structure may fail in low frequency earthquake also yes sir which type of a structure will fail in low frequency sir like this stru- uh, maybe sir uh, can i take an attempt uh, yes. about it sir soft story uh, can fail in soft story soft story is totally different thing <coughs> so okay, in one particular earthquake in world history it was observed that some particular mid rise buildings all collapsed but high rise building and low rise building were not collapsed in the same city due to earthquake what may be the reason so can i think about it yes so like the foundation and everything was uh, everything was okay no problem it was occurred in it was observed in mexico earthquake 1985 sorry sir i am not sure about it i am not sure about this so and suppose you are you have to construct a very high rise building and low rise building on which type of soil you would like to construct high rise building and in which type of soil you will like to construct low rise building soft soil medium soil hard soil is there any relation to this or there is no difference you can construct any type of building on any soil sir there might be a relation uh, sir like high rise building will require uh, the foundation to be deep uh, as compared to the low rise building so i think the uh, we can we will construct it in hard soil as compared to the low rise building so can you go for deep foundation in hard soil suppose rock type of soil is there would you like to go deeper in that rock soil sir if the rock is at a uh, lower stratum then uh, we can go for it so what is the need we have the rock is already there what is the need of deep foundation in that 
and is it uh, important for found, the foundations are important from earthquake point of view does it affect yes sir suppose you construct a building only in basement all the floors are inside ground do you need to design it for earthquake sir i am not suppose that you construct a underground parking five story underground parking all the floors are inside ground do you need to construct it for earthquake or not sir i don't think uh, it will affect much uh, the structure uh, under the ground so we can not design for earthquake that basement okay okay uh, draw a single portal frame both end fixed and now suppose one of the support circles by amount delta both and fixed okay what would be the last step and now suppose one of the support circles by amount delta or you can draw the bending moment diagram whichever way what would be the last step or you can draw the bending moment diagram whichever you are deflected like the condition is all the fibers uh, will reach the elastic stage uh, that is a plastic stage in itself what are the conditions that we use for example i have given you a structure you have to find out support reaction at collapse condition so what conditions you will use can you use equilibrium conditions yes sir that is one of the conditions yes sir sir like we can use equilibrium condition uh, uh, there is also moment distribution uh, and sir uh, one condition is there uh, moment distribution please yes. explain this moment distribution condition sir like when the uh, like hinge joint occurs at the collapse so moment get distributed at that uh, point hinge joint how you will find out collapse load in a structure what are the methods that we have sir uh, we have uh, like static and kinematic analysis. static method kinematic method yes. so on what conditions they are based upon uh, sir uh, there is equilibrium condition there is yield condition and uh, one is uh, one more is there sir uh, mechanism condition. mechanism yes sir so there are these three conditions yes sir. static method is also called as lower bound method yes sir. kinematic is also called as upper, upper bound method why so sorry i am unable to recall okay basically we use one principle called as principle of virtual work what do you mean by that principle sir uh, principle of virtual work states that uh, like if we uh, if there is uh, a virtual load that is occurring uh, uh, virtual load like if we consider a virtual uh, load uh, that is occurring uh, on a body then uh, it will cause the uh, same virtual parameter is load here so i'm not sure about uh, the virtual virtual parameter are displacements slopes and deflections okay you don't remember this no, no sir fine generally there are four types of sections in steel structures plastic compact semi compact cylinder how can i classify which section belongs to which category sir there is uh, uh, like different terms like b by tf ratio and uh, mm -hmm. d by tw ratio on basis of that what is b here Uh, sir if we consider i section then it is uh, half of the flange from the center to the outer width of outstanding flange yes, you sir. can say 
okay and in case of a bolted girder what would be the b value or you can say welded girder then sir in case of bolted it will be uh, i think from the first line of bolts to the outer section okay and welded sir from the uh, line of welding to the outer portions okay fine what do you mean by prying forces yes sir sir like uh, uh, when we uh, connect uh, any section uh, maybe an i section to a plate then uh, the bolts uh, faces some tension force uh, so that are prying force why why tension force what type of connection it is sir i think lug angle in lug angle we face prime force lug angle we face the prime force lug angle is completely a different thing sir i am unable to recall that name uh, in like it they are the tension force that the bolt faces uh, okay, that is that is fine but what is the reason behind it why this tension is arising sorry sir okay define shear lag what is shear lag uh, sir like when uh, in Uh, angle section uh, one plate is uh, one uh, leg is connected uh, then the outstanding leg uh, like the force that is transmitted to the outer outstanding leg lags behind uh, it is known as shear lag sir so because of this the strength will increase or decrease sir it will decrease it will decrease so how is code has uh, computed this that what what would be the loss of strength sir they have uh, like taken a factor beta uh, Because, beta yes sir okay and there is one more factor alpha when do we use alpha when we do we use beta sir alpha is for pre preliminary analysis when we don't know uh, when what kind of section or bolt is there so okay. we start by taking alpha then we uh, go to beta after final design okay what is the range for alpha Sir, it's about 0.7 or 0.8 like that. Okay, sir. We need. Yes, sir. How do you feel? Sir, I feel good. Good. That's nice. How do you define consolidation of soil? Sir, consolidation basically means the uh, settlement uh, that occurs uh, when the saturated soil is. Uh, loaded by static load and pour water like water gets out of the soil so that is consolidation what are the different consolidation settlement parameters sir there are different parameters like av uh, coefficient of compressibility cc coefficient of uh, uh, compression index uh, there is mv coefficient of volume compressibility there is cv coefficient of consolidation uh, yes sir okay what are the methods to find cv of soil sir we have two methods uh, by one we calculate uh, 50% consolidation and by one we consider 90% consolidation so it is casa grande logarithmic time fitting method and taylor square root time fitting. that's fine what's the value of tv 50 sir tv 50 is around 0.198 what is the value of tv 90 sir it's around 0.8 something Point eight something exact value you don't remember. Point eight one four, I think. Okay. You tell me <coughs> there are some accelerated methods of consolidation. Can you name some accelerated consolidation methods? Sir, uh, if you want to accelerate the consolidation, particularly we do it for clay soil because clay soil does uh, take very time. So there is sand drain method uh, for. Uh, Any other methods? Have you heard of uh, perforated vertical drains? Yes, sir. How it works? Sir, it is basically a pipe. Uh, if I say it is a pipe that is having uh, uh, like holes in on on its curved, yeah. curved section, mm -hmm. and when we drain out, the water gets out through the pipe uh, in the upward direction, so it accelerates. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you draw the more further in develop for? consolidated drain test for fully saturated soil you take the paper paper is there Good. draw the more failure in hella for fully saturated clay right for cd test cd test and tell me what will be the value of shear strength parameters
Can you draw or you, you don't recollect? Yes, yes sir, I am trying. So like this. Take this. Take this. Take this. Take this. So what will be the value of C in this? Is C ki value kitni hai C desk ki value? Sir, can I ask a question? Like it is normally consolidated clay or? Uh, yeah, it's a normally consolidated clay. Sir, then the C value will be zero. C value will be zero. Yes, sir. And it, if it's for over consolidated clay? Sir, then C and phi will uh, have a value. What is the impact of over consolidation ratio on the shear strength of clay soil? Sorry, can, can you repeat? OCR? Yes, sir. What okay, impact has CR strength? Pe. If OCR increases, what will be its impact on CR strength? Sir, OCR basically means uh, maximum effective stress in the past to the present. So, if it is increasing, uh, it means that presently we are having low stress. So, uh, I think the CR strength will uh, increase. So, the CR strength will increase. Right. Okay, you tell me if there is a landslide, right? So, which type of shear strength will be relevant? Big shear strength, critical shear strength, or residual shear strength as well? Sorry, sir, I am not aware about. You are not able to recollect. What are the different types of engineering contracts? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, some of uh, what I can uh, remember is there is a percentage rate contract, uh, there is item rate contract, uh, there is a cost plus fixed uh, fee contract and cost plus variable fee contract also. What is EPC contract? Uh, company EIL also does EPC contract. Uh, sir, it is basically engineering, procurement and construction contract. So, uh, what it uh, helps is uh, uh, the client. So, for example, IOCL is a client of EIL. So, it will help it with the engineering design of the refinery. Uh, also, it will help it in the procurement of materials that IOCL requires. Also, uh, construction means that if uh, suppose the contractor is uh, LNT. So, it will also basically uh, go hand in hand with LNT and see if the construction work is happening on time and uh, it is going good. So, engineering, material procurement and construction, everything will be done by the? Yes, sir. And after construction, post maintenance work will also be uh, taken that, up. That will be also done. Yes, sir. There are some, some types of integrated contracts. Do you know some sort of integrated contracts? Yes. No, sir. Have you heard of BOT? Yes, sir. What is BOT? Sir, it is it it, it stands for build, operate, and uh, transfer. Hmm. So it is kind of like uh, we know PPP model only, uh, in which uh, any contractor will build the uh, any uh, road. So, for example, uh, they are building a road, then they will uh, operate it till they get their sufficient profit, and then they will transfer it to the client uh, after that. So, yes, so this is BOT. Yes, there is one HAM model of contract, PPP. Have you heard of HAM? Hybrid annuity model. Sorry, sir. Hybrid annuity model of PPP contract. Have you heard of? No, sir. No. Okay, my last question, you talked about earthquake engineering. If there is a base isolation technique that we are using nowadays, what will be its impact on time period? Sir, it will uh, increase the time period, sir. Okay. Your interview is over, uh, Vinil. You can wait for a minute. We will let you know. Okay. How to okay. We will call you. We will thank call you. you. We will brief you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You are a very smart boy. Very intelligent. Material. Trust well. Very nice. Thank you, sir. And uh, in well, your photo, your uh, hairstyle is not so good, but <laughs> in real interview, you are looking very smart. Thank you, sir. Uh, I photo. Groomed well. Sir, and I was fond uh, of growing my hair in college. We are giving you 130 marks. Okay. That is not uh, too much. You can go 150, 160. Okay. Nobody stops you. Yes, sir. You do well. Engineers India Limited, where you are working, right? Yes, sir. Go to the website. 
learn all the projects. Yes, sir. sir was asking about PPP project. Know about PPP projects. Yes, sir. And your first option is Central Engineering Service, NHAI, different projects, uh, different PPP models. Mm. This can be there. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, and you are doing quite okay. Your uh, hobby, what did you say? Strength training, gym, cooking. Okay. Yes. All those things, you write a few sentences, it should be impressive. Yes. Impressive means when the board listens to you, they feel happy to give you better marks. Yes. Okay? Yes, sir. All the best. Sir? Yes. Vineet, you can do very well in your interview. Thoda saar gar aap, jaysay, jo question mene puche, most of the question you answered, but thoda depth mein gaya to, मासा खड़ा ऊपर ऊपर से थोड़ा नॉलेज कर कई सारे क्वेश्चन में देख एक आपका नेगेटिव चीज है वो मैं आपको बता देता हूँ आप बहुत ज़्यादा गेस करते हो बहुत ज़्यादा एंड दैट में बिकम वेरी नेगेटिव राइट वैसे तो वन थर्टी मार्क्स आपको मिले हैं लेकिन इंटरव्यू बोर्ड में अगर आप इतना गेस करोगे ये सीधा वन टेन पे आ जाए या इवन हंड्रेड से भी नीचे जा सकता है गेसिंग इज कंसिडर्ड एज लफिंग and bluffing is not the same as the bluffing. Bluffing is a qualified word for lying. Not knowing and... Not knowing and misleading the interview board. Simply say, I don't know, sir. That is the best answer for... Sir, can I say I have taken an attempt also? No, no. If you say that you accept it, then do it, but don't do it much. There will be an idea. If you have an idea, then do it. There will be a lot of times. आप ऐसा हो रहा था कि आप उसके बारे में कुछ नहीं जानते हो लेकिन फिर भी कोशिश कर रहे हैं यस सर ऐसा मत करो जैसे आपको वाइब्रेशन का कोई आइडिया नहीं है कि अर्थ के, के केस में वाइब्रेशन से क्या इफेक्ट पड़ता है लो फ्रीक्वेंसी हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी का क्या फर्क पड़ता है मैंने आपको मैक्सिको अर्थ का जो क्वेश्चन पूछा वो उससे रिलेटेड है हर एक बिल्डिंग का जो अपना हाइट होता है उसकी फंडामेंटल फ्रिक्वेंसी होती है उस फंडामेंटल फ्रिक्वेंसी से अगर अर्थ की फ्रिक्वेंसी मैच करती है तभी बिल्डिंग कोलैप्स होता है जैसे वेरी सिंपल थ्योरी रेजोनेंस का मैं बोलने वाला था रेजोनेंस रेजोनेंस का कॉन्सेप्ट अगर रेजोनेंस का कॉन्सेप्ट वो आप इन दिन ये कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रेजोनेंट फ्रीक्वेंसी यस सर यस तो वो इंपोर्टेंट है तो वहाँ पे आप लैग किए वहाँ पे आप गेस कर रहे थे वहाँ पे आप गेस कर रहे थे और गेस कर रहे तो पूछ के करिए लेकिन ना करें तो ज़्यादा अच्छा ठीक है सर ठीक है विनीत तो एक परमिशन अदरवाइज आई डोंट नो एक्सेक्टली बट इफ यू परमिट मी यू कैन गस इफ यू आर सॉलिड इफ यू आर नियर बाय यस सर ठीक है विनीत मेरे हिसाब से यू हैव ऑल दी एलिमेंट्स आपके सारे नोट्स प्रिपेयर्ड हैं मेरे को लग रहा है टेक्निकल आप बहुत साउंड हैं ठीक है जैसे ही थोड़ा एडवांस जाता है वहाँ पे थोड़ी सी दिक्कत होती है और इतना बनता भी है यू आर जस्ट ग्रेजुएट यस सर ठीक है मेरे हिसाब से सब ठीक है आपको यू गेट अ वेरी गुड मार्क्स व्हेन इज योर मार्क्स इन यूपीएससी सर फाइनल इज ऑन 15 15 तीन बस आ गया सो हैविंग सेड दैट एवरीथिंग यू आर वेल कंपोज्ड वेरी पॉजिटिव यस सर एंड यू आर सुटेबल कैंडिडेट फॉर इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज सो यू वांट गेट गुड मार्क्स जस्ट व्हाटएवर टाइम यू हैव यू रिफर्बिस द बोर्डर जो भी है एटलिस्ट at least codal provisions of earthquake and structures. Sir, video देखो, earthquake का video देखो, sir, video देखो, and मेरी वो सुन ली video. मेरा YouTube channel पे जाके. जाइए और पढ़ी. One three nine two zero का पूरा detail एक video. That will help you a lot, है ना? Channel पे. What are the? आप उसमें देख लीजिएगा. M K Singh Common YouTube channel, है ना? There you will, there you will. Sir, one more. एक चीज और सुन लीजिए पाने. There you will, you will, you will be in the position to know. What are the ductility requirements in our CCS structures and how it will add to the seismic resistance of building? Yes. वो बहुत important है ductility का ही सारा everything is related to ductility, है ना? और ये सारे जो there are different types of controls like active control, passive control and hybrid control. तो ये सारे जो techniques हैं base isolation, dampers ये सब आपको मिल जाएगा. ठीक. ठीक है ना? Sir, you can see a video, M.K. Singh Medi Ji, and search it. It's a video on my YouTube video. There are many videos, but there are all yoga on it. You can see two videos on it. One is made in Turkey and the other is made in 13920 on SPC. It's made for this purpose. Whoever is interested to know about 13920, you can go through the whole class. 
ठीक है घंटे की वीडियो करीब है सर मेरा एक डाउट है सर कोई कोर्स हो यू नो सर मेरा एक डाउट है मेरा जो कॉलेज का प्रोजेक्ट है वो लैंडस्लाइड रन आउट एनालिसिस के ऊपर है तो मतलब उसके ऊपर मैं थोड़ा क्या प्रिपेयर अगर कोई पूछ ले मान लीजिए कोई पूछे तो कोई जरूरी नहीं है कि पूछे हां लेकिन ये आप बताओगे तभी पूछे आपको पता तो ना तभी ड्राफ्ट में लिखा है सर वो क्या लिखा हुआ है लैंडस्लाइड माय बीटेक लैंडस्लाइड रन आउट एनालिसिस मतलब लैंडस्लाइड की कितनी वॉल्यूम शुड बी प्रिपेयर्ड योर राइट होना चाहिए व्हाट इज आपका ऑब्जेक्टिव आपके जो पूरे आपने प्रोसेस फॉलो किया फिर रन आउट ना दी इसके ऊपर ना एक बीसिंग सर की वीडियो है वो देख लेना ठीक है बीसिंग सर की वीडियो है वो जो लैंडस्लाइड है जोशी मत लैंडस्लाइड जोशी मत लैंडस्लाइड सर्च कर लेना बीसिंग फ्लड सीन जोशी मत ठीक है एंड रिसर्च का मैनेजमेंट वो आप देख लो ठीक वो बहुत बढ़िया है बहुत यूजफुल है उन्होंने पूरा 1 घंटे उन्होंने पूरा लेक्चर दिया है बीसिंग सर ठीक है बहुत बहुत ही प्रिसाइज वीडियो है ठीक है सर क्या कारण है लैंडस्लाइड्स यस सर पूरा मिलेगा ठीक है